Hi guys, welcome in. Today we're gonna to be unboxing a Japan crate. If you don't know what it is, uh, you can go online to japancrate.com. I think it's .com, I'm not too sure actually. I'll let you know later. Um, <laughs> anyways, back to the video. We are doing Japan crate today. If you don't know what it is, go look it up online. It is awesome. Uh, it's a subscription. You can get it delivered to your door monthly, or I think you can skip a month if you want. It's up to you. Um, this one, I think it's about $50, and this is the full size one. This is gonna come with all of the delicious snacks and treats directly from Japan. Um, and these boxes also come with a drink. So I think that this is the first thing that I would like to try. Um, so let me go ahead and get our little booklet that tells us what everything is. Koho, do you want to read this? No, you're just going to lick the water bottle? Okay. <laughs> All right, drink, what are you? Um, there we go. It is called the Green Dakara Salted Lychee and Yogurt Drink. Salted lychee. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, well, in no time like now, let me just swish it around just in case it needs to be shaken, but not really shaken. Here we go. Ew, it smells like salt water. Oh, but it's actually not salty at all. It tastes just like lychees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is nice. It says, after, after an exhilarating day at Universal Studios Japan, you recharge with this refreshing drink. Okay. Yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this an A. This is really good. I probably would drink this every day. I can also take, taste the grapes in here too. So it looks like that there's um, grapefruit, lemons, lychees, grapes. And I guess that those are ice cubes. I'm not too sure. So I'm guessing it'll be good over ice. So yeah, so I'm gonna give that an A. All right, let's get to move on to some of these delicious snacks in here. So I think I'm just gonna pull them out at random and then we'll just pull them out. So first I'm gonna start with this one. So, these look like anime characters, but I'm not too sure what this anime is. No? No clue. Okay, well, let's uh, look them up in our handy dandy book. Um, here we go. Okay, so these are called Ariel Sour Cream and Onion Chips. Okay. I like uh, traditional sour cream and onion chips, so I think that I'm done with these too. Yes. Uh, uh, I'll probably just be used to work these. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's uh, try a few. Oh wow, these are... So these are not actual... These look more like bugles, kind of? Let's see, it's going to be crunchy, I bet. Mm. They're a little bit sweet. Lots of the uh, powdered flavor. They're pretty good. No. Okay. Mm. Those are good. I wouldn't say they're as good as the drinks, so I think I'm going to give them a B plus. I could see myself eating those as like a snack throughout the week. They were pretty good, yeah. Next thing on the list, let's see what here. Yes. All right, it looks like this is called Mini Vita, Orange Mini Vita Gummies. All right. Yeah, that's exactly what they are in the book. And it says, if you're planning to conquer the beast that is Mount Fuji, then energy drink or energy drink gummies, oh, is a must have for that extra boost. All right. So these are gonna be energizing. And I wonder what flavor they're going to be because 
It doesn't really say. So I guess we're about to find out. Oh, okay. This is not what I expected. Oh, these remind me of those little, like, uh, root beer candies. Okay, let me, um, do I just pull it out? Oh, there's a like good thumb. Oh no. Okay, this is not very smart of them. The film on this is like sticking to the candies almost, so I need to be careful when I'm peeling it off. This, um, this is just not looking. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna bite this. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna eat the film part, so I'm just gonna try the candy part. tastes like peach, like the peach gummy rings. That's what I would compare it to, but it's just unfortunate that I can't, um, I can't get this foam layer off because I would love to just put the whole thing in my mouth, but, uh, unfortunately I can't do that because of the plastic. So I would just say, let's just go ahead and roll on over to the next item then. So This is called Chirin Can Pie Ramune. Let's see if we can find this little guy over here. Here we go. Uh, so this is a can pie ramune candy. So it just looks like it's little uh, little hard candies and it's in a cute little what's on tap mug. All right, so uh, let's pop this on open. Let me take off the, the beer foam. And here we go. I'm just gonna eat a couple of these. Here we go. Hmm. They're not hard candies. They're soft candies. Definitely tastes like the moon flavor. Okay. They're not bad. I would say these are probably more of like a children's candy. It's a, it's a fine flavor, the flavor's fine, but it's with it being just a, a children's candy, it's not something that's gonna be enjoyable like on a regular basis. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a C minus. All right, moving on to the next item. Let's go ahead and pick out let's go with this one right here. Mm, all right, so this kind of looks like vanilla ice cream right here in the corner. Um, let's see what it is. Okay, I think it's this one. I'm not too sure because the packaging is a little bit different. So anyway, so in the book, this says it's a semi-choco salted vanilla milk corn snack. I don't know. I don't know if that sounds good. But I guess we'll just have to try it and find out. Okay, um, so they're in the shapes of little stars. They smell very sweet, like an artificial vanilla flavor. Nah, nah. They're just very, they're, they're too plain. And for me to say that they're plain is saying something because Jane, plain Jane is my middle name and these are plain. Like all I taste is just the artificial, artificial vanilla flavor. And it's like crunchy, like, um, like those, um, those, that corn cereal pops, I think it's called. That's the same texture. But yeah, it's just like an artificial vanilla flavor. 
on that corn pop. Not worth it. I'm going to give it a D. Okay. Moving on. Let's go with this guy. It's a cute little panda, it looks like. It's called Pandaro. Let's see what it is. Here we go. It is called Pandaro Butter Cookies. All right. So let me see if I can find a whole piece of beer because it looks like I just got a corner. Oh no, it's all crumbled. It's okay. Well, we will taste it and see what it tastes like. Hmm. Yep, just like it said in the book, panda butter cookies. I assumed it was in a, the shape of a panda before it got crushed, but Unfortunately, with it being crushed, it's no longer in the shape of a panda, but it is definitely a butter cookie. Like, you think your grandma, those old um, circle tin cookie things, this is a butter cookie if a butter cookie has ever been a butter cookie. This is good. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. I'm going to give that one an A. That one was a really, really good cookie. Oh, so buttery. All right, need some water. All righty, moving on. Okay. Grabbing our next set. Ooh, this is called Diamond Ring Candy. So it's gonna be kind of like your uh, ring candies. Um, what does it say in the book about this little guy? Um, there we go. Uh, so it says that this is gonna be cola flavored. So I'm looking forward to this because I love cola flavored candies. As promised. Here is my ring. Put it on my finger. Mmm. Definitely tastes like cola. Mm -hmm. This takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> Although I've never had a cola flavored one of these. So that's, this is, this is good. If I was a kid and I got a cola flavored ring pop, I think I would be super, super happy with it. Yes, okay. I'm gonna give this one. You know what, it's not, it's not as good as some of those other snacks that I've tried that I've given an A for. So I think that I'm going to give this one a B plus. So put that up, mark it up. All right, and moving on. Next snack is going to be. Oh, I think I think this might be the DIY kit, but let me just double check and make sure before I do anything. Um, yes. So this is a DIY kit. So I'm gonna come back and do this later, just because this is gonna take an extra few minutes to do, read the instructions, get everything together. Um. So stay tuned for that. Okay, let's go ahead and get our next item. Okay, this is called Chorus Whistle Gum. Great gum. Okay, I did not expect this to be gum, but I am surprised. So um, let's see what the book says about it. it. Says grape whistle gum. Yep, just like the package says. Okay. Let's, uh, let's find our one, I suppose. That was gonna be like a lifesaver or something because of the shape.
such a weird texture for gum. It was almost like a powder at first, like a loose, but as I'm chewing it, it's coming together slowly. I mean, the flavor's good. It's just taking a long time to actually become gum that I can actually enjoy just chewing on. I think it's been like, what, a full minute now? Since I've been starting to chew it, and it's actually just now starting to become gum. So yeah, it's fine. So I think I'm just gonna give it like a C. Just cause the flavor's good, but it took a while to start forming and getting a shape. All right, moving on. Let's grab that. That's good. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be some sort of like lemon, like biscotti coffee cookie thing yeah they're called picola lemon wafer sticks i'm not a big fan of wafer but um let's just see how these are Yeah. Mmm, okay. So it's a pretty good uh, lemon flavor. The texture is just like any other wafer stick like this. Hmm. You know, I typically don't really like these wafer sticks because they're kind of bland. But these have like a really, a really nice lemon flavor to them and uh, it has like a swirl of like a cream in it too. It's just really nice. It's a uh, it's light and refreshing, I would say. Mm. I'll definitely be eating more later. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the next item. Let's see what we got. It's like a little microphone. It's so cute. La 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 la. Mm. It has a bunch of different animals on there, so I guess we'll find out what this is. Um, okay, so it says uh, Karaoke Mic Ramoon Candy. More Ramoon Candy. I love, 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 love Ramoon. Alright, let's how do I open this exactly. Oh man, I'm gonna have to cut this off. Alright. I had to cut it off with scissors, so no worries there. Um, I was able to get to it. Um, the bottom of the microphone unscrews, so now I can get to my candies. All right, so they look like the same ones as the other ones that we ate earlier. Um, so let's try them out. Yeah. They're the same ones. Oh boy, okay. So whatever I gave that grade, these get the same grade, because they're the same thing. All right, moving on. Grab this little guy. All right, this is tiny, if you can see it. Um, this is this is called the Awatama Black Cool Light Candy. Let's try it. I'm excited because it's cool. hard candy. So this is a typical hard candy if you've ever had a hard candy before. Takes a while to be able to break down. But the cola flavor is really good. I like this. I like this a lot. 
I wish it wasn't a hard candy. I'm not a huge fan of hard candies. I'm not as great on the teeth. But I would eat, I would definitely eat this again, I think. So I think, I think I'm gonna give it a B plus. All right. I will finish the rest of that later. All right. Moving on. So our next item. Oh, this one is finally October themed. It has little um, monsters on there. The mummy, Dracula. And I think uh, a Frankenstein and a ghost. Let's see what the book says. Um, here we go. This is called Monster Stamp Cola. So I see in this box that they have a lot of cola flavored things, which I mean, I guess is good for me, but man, <laughs> a lot of cola flavored things. With all the different flavors in the world, you would think, let's throw a bunch of different flavors in there. Not the same flavor. Oh, but it's okay. Oh, these are cute. They're actually stamps. Like, so it's like a little, um, like condensed candy, candy piece. There's like the stamp seal at the bottom, a little stamper at the top. So I just, uh, this one has a ghost, oh, ghost on it. And this one has Frankenstein on it. So I think some, has even little game pieces, like on a game board or something. Um, let's try, I'm gonna try the Frankenstein. I'll put the ghost back in the bag, eat him later. All right, um, I think I'm just gonna bite the side. I'm not too sure how to eat this. Mm. So it's a hard candy. I didn't expect it to be super hard like that. How do you eat those? It says lick it to unveil the stamp. So it's like a, so it's like a lollipop without the, without the lolly part. Nothing's changing. It just looks wet now. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know about. I don't. I don't think this is good candy. I mean, this would be a good toy, I think. But as candy, I don't taste the cola flavor. Hold on, let me look. Hmm. Can actually bite the the holder side and that does taste like cola because i was about to say the other side the stamp side does not taste like anything at all but now that i bit the handle side that does taste like cola but no i th this does not work as a candy i don't think it's it's the wrong shape it's it's sticky after you start licking it a couple of times it just doesn't work So I'm gonna give that one an F just because it was a total fail. Don't even go there. Don't even try it. Don't even think about it. All right, let's not think about it and move on. We only have a couple more things left. So let me just grab these two things that look like they're the same thing possibly. So this I believe is in like a, a music key shape maybe. And, but then I don't know what this would be. So let's just uh, find out what these are. Okay. So I am guessing that this is the number chocolate and the key chocolate. So this is apparently supposed to be a key. I mean, I can kind of see that. Woohoo! And then I'm guessing this is the number chocolate. So in the book, they have the number two, but this is the number zero. It could be an O, but since it's a number, I'm just gonna go with zero. Um, so I'm just guessing that these are just little little chocolate candies, 
kind of similar to M&M's where they have like that chocolate outer layer for that little bit of crunch factor. So, I mean, I'm just gonna pull one. I don't, I think they're the same thing, right? Little chocolates. Yeah, little chocolates. Okay, so I'm just gonna just try one of each just in case they're not the same. Um, so let's go with the green one and the O. And then for the key, I will also go with the green one. They both only have one green, which I look at that. Okay, look at this one over here. All right, so my little O. Just like an M&M. Definitely like an M&M. And then the key. Yep, you guys, these are M&Ms. They're, I mean, they're, guys, they're really comparable. I don't think I've ever had like an imitation M&M before that has been like actually pretty similar, but these ones are pretty, pretty similar. I'm, that's kind of crazy. So if you're looking for an alternative to M&Ms, try either the number chocolates or the key chocolates from Japan Crate. All right, so I'm gonna give those you know, let's give those an A as well. They're, they're pretty good. All right, moving on. Last couple of things in the box. Um, let's go, let's do this one first. Okay, so this is like a little smiley face with a blue, it has a blue tongue. So I'm guessing some sort of like airhead candy that like makes your tongue turn colors. Okay, another surprise here. This is gum. So this is a gum soda flavored. Um, all right, I'm getting surprised by all the snacks in this one. They are turning out to be snacks that I didn't think that, uh, didn't think that the packaging represented. Okay. Mm, that sounds really sweet. It looks like maybe you could break this in half, so I'm just gonna eat half of it. See you. Oh. All right, well, it's gone. Let's try it. Mm. And see, unlike the other gum that took a long time to form into gum, this one forms very quickly. It's already a gum, and it's only been like 15 seconds. It's definitely soda flavored, just like a regular plain, like just soda, soda water, not really any particular flavor to that soda water, but it tastes like, a, like I'm just drinking a carbonated drink. It's good. Yeah, I think I would buy this gum and eat it. Not eat it, but chew it. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to give this an A as well. Is my tongue blue? All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and grab Ooh, these look nice and fancy packaging. So it looks like some sort of potato chips. Um, so I'll just read right off of the bag what this says. So it says something in Japanese and this is Japan. Underneath it says, Japan is a proud, or is a nation of proud culture and tradition. The pride and heritage drives Kalikia, a business rich in history, and our mission to deliver the most delectable flavors to you. What a mouthful. Okay. Looks like potato chips. Uh, let's check the book and see what they are. Um, okay, so it says Pride Potato Japan Olive Salt Chips. Olive salt chips, okay. I don't think I've ever had olive chips before. Oh yeah, look, and there's a picture of green olives on the back. So let's, uh, let's check them out. Looks like potato chip. Maybe I need to have that one. 
Hmm. I mean, they taste like potato chips. I don't, they don't really have a distinct olive flavor. I mean, I can tell that they're not just like regular Lay's potato chips or, or anything of the sorts that you would find at your local grocery store. It's a little bit like a stronger flavor, but I wouldn't say it's olive flavored. I would just say it's just a stronger flavored potato chip. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not bad. I would definitely eat these again. It's just not what I expected, right? Um, so I think if I had to give this one a grade, I think I would give it a B, just because it's not, not what was expected, right? Okay. Moving on, I think we only have one more thing left to try in the box. Um, and it looks like it is a gummy candy. So let's check in the book and see what it is. It looks like on the package it says cider. So these are going to be sour cider gummies. Oh, I'm excited because I really like sour things. Let me get this open. And I think it's just the one. Yeah. It's just the one in the packet. So uh, if you're sharing, donate the whole thing. <laughs> mm, has that like acidic y powder stuff on the outside? I'm excited to try it. Let's go. not what I expected. It's like, I don't know what this is like. It's like almost pineapple flavored on the top of this. And then I think this is supposed to be cola flavor on the bottom. It doesn't really work together as a flavor profile, I don't think. The gummy is fine. It's not sour at all, which is super, super disappointing. Um, yeah, no, I'm just gonna say that one was a total failure. I'm gonna give it an F. Sorry for the people who made it, but not sour. Pineapple, that's weird. It just, it doesn't work. Okay, so as a bonus for this box, uh, it apparently can be turned into a board game. So uh, I'm just gonna read the little uh, board game instructions here and uh, it did come with uh, these little uh, game pieces. So it looks like it comes with a red piece and a blue piece and a die. So let me read the instructions and see how this works. Let's see what they were trying to do. You know, trying to bring a little more fun into your Japan crates by uh, making a board game. I do love board games. This one though is pretty simple. I would say it's definitely more for children. Uh, it's, if, if you like uh, Candyland or like Snakes and Ladders, this will be the game for you. But, uh, yep, so that is everything, you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in uh, to this episode uh, of our uh, Japan Crate unboxing. Um, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. Check out my uh, new videos in the link below. Bye.